Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to another Patreon request. Today I am going to react to Third Watch. I have honestly never heard of it before, but I did see that it has some actors I slightly know. From what I read, it's a show that started in 1999, my birth year. Um, but from what I read, it's about um, like... Uh, New York and it is about the group of like men and women who serve New York City as police officers, firefighters and paramedics. Um, that's what it says. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just like imagining police officers, firefighters, that kind of stuff. And uh, one of my patrons requested uh, the first episode. Uh, honestly, I'm always open to new series, so um, it honestly never happened before that someone requested just an episode from a show. So I'm honestly pretty excited about it, because of course, like, I'm not gonna react to everything then, because that's like too much. But, um, like, if someone requests like a first episode from something, and I really like it, then I might just continue watching, or like, if I really, 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 really like it, continue reacting, but I don't think that's gonna be like... Uh, a thing that's gonna happen very soon because I have a really busy schedule with uh, reactions and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna see if I like it. Um, so let's watch the first episode. Oh, and before I start, if you also want to request like an episode from a TV show or a movie or anything like that, you can check on my Patreon, the links in the description. You can find different tiers there, so there's different possibilities. So just check it out if you're interested. And then now I'm going to watch this TV show. already really feels like the typical like police show intro from that time really brings you back yeah for real did it already start or is it just like, just like an intro oh but there's also someone driving there so Honestly, if I was ever chased by the police, I would just be like, yeah, just take me, whatever. Did he just run straight into the car? Yeah, I do not have the stamina to like run away from someone. A lot of people might have written that. What's that supposed to mean? So this guy just doesn't like him. How do you do it every day? I just think of one of my kids sitting in a whole new perspective. We're gonna go, let's go! That Those is a kid. How do people like that even join the police? Stop the car! Stop! <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, I honestly haven't seen that much shows that's about like uh, police, firefighters, and um. I honestly forget how you call it. Because I think it's like a really different word than in Dutch. Paramedics. Of course. I think it's him I know, like the one they're calling Kid, yeah. But it's weird that they're calling him Kid here because like in the TV show I know him from, he's just a grown ass man. <laughs> Is that the same but yeah I can't find it right now but there's a lady bleeding down there in that bar on the corner dial 911 I'm busy What an asshole how do people like that join the police well I think that's the whole thing about the police it's mainly assholes My husband's on his way. He, he's an attorney. Hubby's legal advice? Hmm? Drink as much as you can and scrub the breathalyzer? Uh, yeah, for real. That's pretty stupid. My husband should be here any minute. We'll pass the time watching the enemy bag the bodies of the people you just killed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The wash is off. We're going to test that theory Saturday. Of course, course that was him. Wash all the squads. Off to Sullivan. Come on, man. Saturday. You got the part now. No, I'm not. He looks just like him. Yeah. Who? When did he get out? Yesterday. Third in his class. Oh, boss, I can't do Did he have like an old partner that looked sir, like him and he Sullivan? died or something? Most of my life, yes sir. Crap. Good luck, son. 
Send him your arm. That's my patrol book. They had us prepared at the academy. It's a uh, muni code, necessary form. Nice work. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you're gonna take that with you all the time, so I get it. Ah, the stereotype. Let me say hello. Puppy. How's she doing? Fire dog. Named Mantooth. Nice looking Dalmatian. Stupidest dogs on earth. Hey, Mantooth. We're not talking about me. Jimmy Doherty. At a weak moment. <laughs> you married him. We're talking about you. <laughs> a weak boy, moment. So I think the whole thing about this show is that the, the firefighters and the police and the... Um, David. Paramedics? <laughs> that they all like kind of know each other from the field, but we're just gonna follow their separate storylines and sometimes they get together, I think? That's kind of what I think right now. Just get it off. <laughs> over and out. Over and out? Jerry's cooking, but first they gotta feed man tooth, right boy? Aww. Well, he already had like 10 donuts. Okay, there it is. Let's go. Guy's not even Come hungry on, let's anymore. Go. Let's go. Come on. Has somebody been feeding Mad Tooth again? What a waste. <laughs> could just leave it there. Maybe he's hungry later. Oh, what a cutie. You look like you work out. <laughs> awesome. Mood. Why don't I call the clinic and set up an appointment for her next week? My partner and I can give you a ride up, okay? I'm working together. My mother requested that she call the borough commander. The borough commander? Yeah. If anything big happens, your ass is definitely staying in the car. <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta get this train moving. I got five locals stacked up behind us. Oh, damn. Is she giving birth? <gasps> Jesus, fuck. I'm not gonna move this train with a woman giving birth in the eye. It's Oh, wait, if something happens, I lose my job. Hey, moron. Move what an asshole. Alright, I got the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That still seemed pretty fast then. Aren't sometimes, like, people in labor yeah, for, like, hours? Sometimes, like, a day? I don't know, I'm never having children, so... I'm not the person to ask this information to. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> that looks like an information kiosk to you. This fucking guy! What is your problem today? There's like this thing in The Walking Dead Telltale first episode um, when the you crash in the police car and then when you keep clicking the officer Lee is gonna keep saying like Officer? Goddamn. Officer? Goddamn. So like every time I hear officer now I just have to say Goddamn. It's a curse. It's not me. Is it you? Oh man. Ugh. Why would you smell it that cl Ew, Why would you talk? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Hey. Is it a joke? <laughs> okay, it's a joke. <laughs> so now we're gonna get see the firefighters in action. God damn, I love this job. But that's the paramedics, right? They're all just working together or something. That looked like the most lame fight ever. They're just like... I feel like they're both drunk as fuck or like really high or something. They're on drugs, definitely. This is a new mobile lie detector. Give it this gentleman first, yes or no? No. See? I told you! Have a good day. Relax, buddy. I stand back a little bit if I were you. You don't have to teach me how to do everything. Top of my class in the rest procedure. This is exactly... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> You can't the academy too? Ugh. Ugh. Fucking disgusting. I mean, honestly, it was a little bit of karma. Because he warned him, and then he was like, No, 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 I was top of my class. Like, if you're constantly gonna use the fact that you were top of your class and brag about that, it's kind of funny if something like that happens. They're up on the 46th floor. Hey, hey, hey. Elevators are all recalled, but the fire's been declared controlled. Oh. 46th floor! I wouldn't even make that. I would die. <laughs> Sonny, you know, like sunshine. She can't be more than 13. Really? It's funny because I literally just realized I did reactions to Haunting of Bly Manor, but like, I know him from Haunting of Hill House. He's the husband from Shirley. 
like the guy I said before. But I also just found out he's an American Horror Story, so I don't remember that fully. So, what he look like? Well, he looked like he was a clown. A clown? So this clown. How old was he? Yeah. Clown years. I hate this guy. Like he's not even taking the people seriously. Yeah, he does look so much younger. It's funny because for my movie, I had the exact same patches. The sad part is, it all got cut out, but I did have them. What are you doing? What? You're looking at me. Oh. But that's uh, against the rules? We're on patrol. Glance at you for a moment and then I was... Really? Then you saw the clown, right? Units in 5-5, five, five, Oh, that's the clown? Yeah, me too, honestly, so. But like, there was an actual clown. And he still didn't take them serious. We're the guys who ate some smoke. I took them down about 10 minutes ago when the chief declared the fire control and turned the elevators back on. The fuck? Good workout, though, but what the hell? Explain what this marriage means! Waffle? Don't bother. Ignore him. Oh, you tell him, sir! Oh my god. You're a woman with those broad shoulders and that mustache! You waffle? Oh, absolutely. Watch out. <laughs> Is that a waffle? Boy, driving around the city can be really dangerous. Huh? <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. There's so much happening in just one episode. It's wild. <laughs> so typical. A woman with a baby, like out of the window. Ooh, okay, get that woman out of there. How are you gonna just take the baby? Is that a cat? Get the cat out of there, please. Get the cat. They're probably all gonna be just in time. Is she gonna throw the baby? <gasps> Why would you just throw a baby? I get that you're scared, but oh my god, that could have gone really wrong. There was just one guy. The baby was falling with his head down, like, hmm. And then you just have to sit there because they have to go to another thing. Ah, hey. oh. damn. I don't think I could do a job like paramedic or firefighter. So many dead people. I've seen some like um, TV shows with like uh, real paramedics and stuff. One time, like, re something really heavy happened. And, like, this woman who worked there, she just had to call her mom and she was crying. And, and I was like, damn, how do you do this job for so long? It's wild. Like, so much respect for these people. Why did we ever break up? Hmm? You slept with my sister. Oh. I mean, if you slap with your sister, is that the guy they were talking about in the beginning? I think so, right? You know, you can be a real jerk, you know that? You love me anyway, right? Did I miss him? I just put him down. Meet love. What happened to you? Fire. Are they like roommates or family or something? We collect unused medications from patients who die. Give them out to the poor people in the neighborhood who can't afford Oh, that's pretty good. Still. Normally it just gets thrown away, so. First few days, seeing all the dead bodies. I didn't feel anything. I kept thinking that it should really bug me, but you didn't know them alive, see who they were, so you can't really feel the loss when they're gone. Jerry, let's go. Son of a bitch. <laughs> 
Or it doesn't look like we're gonna be eating Jerry's dinner anytime soon. <laughs> Poor guy, put so much work into it. Ah. Shit! Did he just jump? Oh! Found him. oh. Well, you got him. Ooh. Onions are gonna be mush. He's just worrying about the food. Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I did not expect this at the end of the episode. I was just like, oh, poor guy. He just wants them to have the dinner he made. What the fuck, man? I feel so connected to all the asthma people. Shit, man. Like, so much happened in this episode and everything was like really heavy, but then this in the end? Oh, he's not gonna make it, is he? Maybe he's gone. Maybe he isn't. Oh, yeah, I thought so. I mean, something has to happen now because otherwise he is gonna die. Get to him. I mean, he shot him like at least five or six times, right? He already lost so much blood. Oh my god. At least he's out of there. What the hell were you doing? I was pursuing the suspect. What, after eight hours now you're a pro? Well, honestly, if he hadn't done that, they still would have been too scared to run up to the guy that was shot. No, I'm not your father, I'm your partner. Just like I was his partner. And I'm not about to call your mother and tell her you're dead. Oh. I to her once oh. You want to get yourself killed? You oh shit! Now it's it's now okay. Do you understand me, Davis? Now I get it. Yeah, Third, that's yeah. fucked. Then I also get why he's being like kind of protective over him. Like, they'll go in there and stuff like that. I get that. That's also hard for him if that happened to his partner before, who was his actual father. So, damn. Okay, he is still alive, but for how long? I'm really scared he's not gonna make it. So fuck, then you're in, like a paramedic and then you go somewhere. I, I, I kind of forgot why they went there. I think they got called in, but for what then? Was it just a trap from that one guy or? Like then you run up there, you wanna help people and you get shot. Really fucked. Ah, now they're all there together. To be continued Sunday in 1999, so yeah, it's probably... <laughs> can already watch the second episode. Fuck! Okay. I have to say now I am kind of curious if this guy is going to make it or not. But I think that was the whole purpose of ending with this. I mean, I have to say it was a good show. Like, normally it's not really my thing. I'm more like uh, a fiction person. I mean, of course it is fiction. As in, this is like normal day stuff. But I have to say, I still think it was really interesting. As in... I really like the pace of the episode. It made me think of one time uh, in film class, my teacher showed us something. Um, it was a TV show, I think it was called The ER or something. And he showed us the first episode and we all had to watch it. And then we had to write something about it. I don't exactly know what it was anymore, but the whole thing, what it was about was the pacing of the episode. And also the different storylines going on in that episode. And this really reminded me of that because that was about just like uh, a hospital, yeah, the ER. And this is about the police, uh, firefighters and paramedics. Uh, but that's like happening in the streets. But it is kind of the same vibe. It had the same pacing. It was like um, 
all these different storylines. Like even when you had the police officers, you had this one guy with a new partner, which had his own arc as in, in the end we find out, oh, it's actually the son of his previous partner that died. So that started to make sense. Then we also had the storyline of, uh, I think his name was Bosco and, and the other woman, I forgot her name for a second. He was so fucking annoying. I still don't like him. Like, it was good what he did in the end, like saving all these people from the fire. But he seemed like a really annoying guy. Just the way he treated people and all, that was weird. Like, don't become a police officer if you can't even take people seriously, honestly. Yeah, and then beside that, you had, like, also the different storylines, of course. So there was just really a lot of storylines. And I think a show like this does need that because like I said it's about this regular day of like a police officer or a firefighter or a paramedic um like honestly if you read stories online of of cases they don't, I'm not just saying something but if you read stuff online you can also know what that's like you know but just the way they combine these storylines also make them get together sometimes I think they they do that really well and I think that's what makes it interesting I mean the episode was 45 minutes it really didn't feel like 45 minutes because it all goes so fast so much is happening like even if it's not really your thing you just keep watching and it's interesting and there's even like some sort of plot twist like yeah like the the old partner was the father of the new partner for example and they're like oh shit I did not see that coming I, I thought first like oh maybe it was just a guy that looked like him or something so yeah overall I think it's a really interesting show and I'm I'm very curious now if the, the, the guy is alive. So yeah, maybe I, I will check it out sometime. Yeah, I liked it. I had a fun time watching it. Um, like I said, if you want to recommend your own thing, check out my Patreon. You can also watch my uncut reaction there. So my full reaction to this episode. And um, if you like my reaction, please leave a like, subscribe. And then I really hope to see you next time. Bye.